Hey guys, Ed here. Do you need to flatten large parts but don't have a large enough surface grinder? Do you have a huge, slightly clapped out surface plate? Well, we've got a slightly crazy solution for you in this week's Wednesday Widget. I'm in the middle of building myself what is possibly the world's beefiest, most rigid CNC router using this old granite surface plate as the base. Keep an eye out for videos dedicated to this build at a later date. Over the course of this build, I've had the need to flatten several large parts, quite a bit larger than the maximum travel of any of our machines. The most crucial of these being the gantry beam, which is actually the bed of a 1929 South Bend lathe. Now, I know that a reasonable person would have sent these parts out and had them ground professionally, but I am certainly not reasonable. I kind of like to do things myself or not at all, so I came up with this janky way of getting it done in-house. Essentially, all this is is a hand-traversed grinding head with a consistent but adjustable Z-height from the surface plate. First up, bit of a safety talk. This thing is not nearly as sketchy to use as it looks like it might be or as I was expecting it to be. There's very little cutting forces involved here if you're using it right, and I noticed no inclination for it to want to take off or throw itself at all. If anything, it's actually a little harder to move than I would like it to be. But as with anything in the shop, you should of course still be very careful. Try this at your own risk and only if you are totally comfortable with it. For precise Z height adjustment, I'm using the cross slide off of that same South Bend lathe. In order to mount the spindle, which is just a plain old bench grinder in this case, we made an aluminum adapter plate. Since the holes this plate will be mounted to are already in the cross slide and seem to be somewhat randomly drilled, I lasered out this fit check template to avoid any surprises after we get the part machined. For this I'm using chipboard which is a thin cereal box cardboard sort of material available in bulk from Uline. It's super cheap, durable enough, and lasers easily. Another shout out to our buddy Tyson Lamb for recommending that. Nothing out of the ordinary here as far as tools or cam goes, but card here to this project's page on the NYC CNC site where you can download the F3D file and check out everything in more detail. In order to mount a proper surface grinding wheel and arbor to the straight shaft of this bench grinder, I had to 3D print a small tapered adapter piece. And since the angle of that arbor's taper doesn't seem to be published anywhere, we found this great trick that we have to share with you guys that will allow you to measure the taper of any angled bore. All you need are two ball bearings of a known size, one which fits near the small end of the taper and another which fits near the large end of the taper. Measure the height of the highest point of each of these balls from the same datum surface and then plug those measurements into a simple CAD sketch to very quickly and precisely calculate the angle of that bore. The resulting 3D printed adapter let me mount the grinding wheel close enough to easily be dressed the rest of the way in. For a nice heavy flat bottomed base, I just clamped that cross slide vertically in an old Kurt vise and went to town grinding. To make sure things stayed slippery, I used some Teflon dry spray lube on the table and made sure to regularly blow away any accumulated grinding dust. If I were setting this up as a more long-term solution, 
I would want an air bearing on the bottom of the vise, similar to that on our Michitoyo height gauge. And I'm sure it would be a good idea to use a real surface grinder spindle. As it is, it was still amazingly easy to get this four foot long gantry slash lathe bed ground flat to within half a thou across its entire length. Can't really argue with those results. That's it for this week. Hopefully this trick will come in handy for you guys. See you next time.